Hi, I'm Yvonne Williams for Your Life. And now that you've learned everything you need to know about painting, the last step is cleanup. I'm going to show you how and how to keep it out of the water table. So first of all, we have our tray, obviously everything that we used. Now what we're going to do is rollers, honestly, they're so inexpensive nowadays. And if you reuse the rollers, you don't get guaranteed that quality finish. I'd say put it in a bag, wrap it up, and then you can dispose of it properly. Now, with our tray, instead of taking the time and putting all of this into your water table, I say leave the tray out with a little bit of paint in it, let it dry overnight, maybe two days depending on your weather conditions, and then you can actually just peel away at the paint in the next day or two, and it'll come right out, and you can dispose of that properly with your roller. Now, what I am gonna show you is obviously you just clean this up with a little paper towel. and let it dry. The important part that you need to know is when you're cleaning your brush. If you clean your brush the right way and take care of it, you can have your brush long lasting. So I will run it lukewarm water, and of course we've already scraped as much paint as we could out. Now we never put the paint back into the can that you took it from. The reason being is because whatever paint is in the tray, and whatever paint is on your brush can be contaminated for anything that has gone on the wall. So you get all the paint out as much as possible. And I don't know if you can see that, but what we're doing is we're going on a slight angle. So when you're done taking all the water out, make sure to hang it upside down so all of the water travels down. This will eliminate the metal housing and your bristles getting clogged. If you hang it like this, this will clog your bristles and eventually wear out the metal piece of your brush. So there you have it, easy peasy. I'm Yvonne Williams. Thank you so much for watching Your Life.